you through the five simple steps to get your storefront launched right away so customers can start placing their orders. First and foremost, you're going to want to add in your products. Here at the top right, you can add in a new product. It will walk you through adding in the product name, a description, definitely add a picture so customers can drool over what you're selling, and also how you want to track and charge your product. Next, we're going to jump into payment. You definitely want customers to be able to have an option to pay. So if you're on the starter plan or if you'd like to connect a credit card gateway, you're going to toggle over to payment gateway setup. Here you can choose between Square, Local Pay, and Stripe. Once you're all connected, you're going to go back over to the payment methods tab, click on add payment method here, and there'll be an option to choose the credit card gateway that you just created. If you're looking to create an offline payment method, just like these cash, check, e-transfer or Venmo, you're going to go to the same spot, add payment method here, and just put in the payment name instructions and add it to your price list. Once you have that all done, you're going to go over to the fulfillment section. Here, you can toggle between delivery and pickup locations. They're essentially the same. The only difference is that when you go to the add delivery plan here in the top right, you're going to define it by who you want to deliver to. Do you want to deliver it to a certain city, specific zip codes or postal codes, or just 10 kilometers outside of a central address? Whereas for pickup, if I go to add pickup location, you're just going to put in the address that customers need to go to grab their order from you. Once you have your products, your payment methods, and your fulfillments, you want to always make sure that they're attached to your price list. Your price list is your unique shopping experience for your customers. So as long as everything's attached to it, they'll be able to see it, purchase it, pick those options for fulfillment, and also how you want to allow these customers to pay. So that's steps one, two, three, and four. The final step, you're going to go over to the storefront tab right here, open close store, open store, click on open. Now your store is open for customers to start shopping right away. You're going to want to make sure to post on your socials, let all your friends and family know that your new online store is now open for business. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped.